Okay, welcome back. This is actually, it's actually the same day uh, I recorded the last video. Um, yeah, this is the mystery cone. As you can see, it's pretty big. Nobody knows what's in the cone. It'd make a pretty cool missile though. So yeah, that's all I'm going to say really, I can't really talk about it because it's a mystery. Uh, you can probably see if you looked on the left. We got a lot of parachutes. Okay, we came down rather quick there. Uh, I didn't think we were going to make it. Hiccup. I don't know why it's running in the orange. It was perfectly fine. It might be because I got fraps. Running too. But yeah, this is our little habitation module. Uh, we're quite far away from the caffeine. But that's fine, this isn't important. It's only a short drive. But yeah, this is the habitation module. Um, um, yeah, I'll quickly just... I'm not going to read all the names, you can check. I've got 60 of you over so far. I've <laughs> obviously got the two here. 
I can fit more in these as well. In fact, I'll show you that. But yeah, here we go. So I'll go down these, and you can check to see if you're in there. So that's one. Ed's but you got the double D now. I'm sorry to the people that don't want to see this, but it's just to make sure people don't keep asking even though they're already over. And obviously I'm gonna use the guys here um for different roles. I've got for the people that wanted certain things, I've written that down so So here we go. Medics there guys, hello doctor. But yeah, I really thought that, that was this whole thing was just gonna break as soon as it hit because it felt like we were going really fast when we touched down. Uh, no, no. I should just do this quick and then oh, there's only two in that one. Uh yeah you could scroll or pause the video to check but do 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 I know there's a few that commented on the last video um and maybe the ISS one that aren't in here yet. But I've got a few bits to send over yet so you probably get more video time rather than just being stuck in here for a while because until everything's over these guys ain't going to be moving around very far so yeah almost done yeah can you read that can you read that <laughs> uh, no we haven't seen these ones yet yeah we have I remember Chris Angel or maybe not I don't know I think that's it. Um, do we see these? Yeah, it's but. So yeah, there you go, and Zach and Caleb Porncastle, the drivers. In fact, let me just extend the ladder. Then we get someone out of here and plonk them in there. Although I, I kept them out of here just to keep the animations down here because I think that like in time like if I had 60 people in this one ship all animated down here I think that might cause some lag too so these doors you don't get the animation which helps when you've got a lot of people because I think 60 little heads down here wobbling around would be pretty bad and it's still it's running on orange for some reason too which isn't good but yeah you can see you get the heads come up and they all seem to be <laughs> as I said, they're all synchronizing yeah you're coming back out of there for now be right once we've got more bits down like I said um... the episode would be pretty short if I ended it here I think so I'm gonna do some bits But yeah, at least we've got most of them down now, most of you guys. Uh, there's probably another 30 since I last updated that list though. But yeah, that's the habitation modules. I think they look pretty funky. I ha I've got an idea for rovers. Um, obviously take the doors off. I could have put decouplers or uh, docking ports here and put wheels on and they could have all like wheeled away as individual rover stroke research lab stroke habitat whatever so yeah I was thinking about that M maybe with the smaller version because this is the large one there's a two meter one this is like the four meter kind of version so yeah I might make a building like this that kind of transforms and the rovers can undock themselves and go off and and I've also got a cool gatling gun mod 
But yeah, the mystery cone <laughs> was holding this. Obviously that was a procedural fairings mod that we had. Covering it up, it's awesome. Uh, wait, yeah, let me just rename this to a base. And... Uh, I'm thinking about going to the orbit. I built a little um, single stage to orbit fighter with Gatling guns on. Uh, it will need refueling. I need to turn these lights off too. And by the way, someone commented last video that this is a, you know, artificial gravity. I, I knew that. That's why I said, you know, it's more suited for space and not on the planet because the planet has gravity, obviously. And yeah, Lake Luster Labs are working on this, I believe, because it said it's experimental. So that would be really cool. Why can't? Oh yeah, I'm on that. That's why. The I'll put the lights on that as well. Let me just turn this off and stop the mining. Two should work. Have the action? No, yeah, they're working. Cool. But yeah, for now, this is uh, this centrifuge is our kinetic, <laughs> I guess, turbine, which powers these. So although that's nuclear, we'll pretend that that's the like capacitor or whatever you want to call it that stores the energy created by this rotation blah 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 science stuff <laughs> science stuff so yeah we need to get rid of these cables as well uh, I'm not going to do that right now because I actually kind of want to Do some bits and bobs. Um, yeah. Okay, so we're back in the VAB, and yeah, this is the first thing I built when I got the Gatling gun mod. It's pretty cool, actually. It's got bullet animation, but it has a red laser beam that shoots. Um, to kind of show the bullets where they're going. It's a bit like the laser sunbeam laser mod I used before. But for some reason this it goes backwards too. Like I had the wings just in the middle here with landing legs and yeah if I was coming down through the atmosphere and I shot these it shot the bottom off and took the engines off and the legs and everything. Because I was going to have this land. Oh well, I could put the legs back on now because I've moved the wing it hit so we've got four kind of off center so we could actually have it landing but this actually goes up into orbit uh, single single stage up to orbit with these two but I did edit the part for a little one just doubled the power on both um, vacuum and atmosphere <laughs> so it was a little cheaty I guess but it only just about gets into orbit and then I'll have to refuel it with the little connector here and then it should get over to Juno because these are nuclear engines I'm pretty sure it'll be safe so I get it into orbit, refuel it and then go over to Juno so we've got them, the D1 interceptors in fact let's just quickly there we go and I do like the cockpit as well Worse. I think it's just the standard uh, whatever mark it is cockpit but at least you can see okay so if I hit Y yeah there you go how awesome is that Not even the bullet shells they're cool so yeah we've got Gatling guns we could build some A10s <laughs> but I don't want to build A10s but yeah they do overheat and there's no marker like the sunbeam laser mod so if you hold it down they will blow up in fact I might as well show you you see them getting hot and they should blow up there you go but yeah they're pretty cool Malfred 
So we'll get a fleet of these going around in a low orbit. In Juna, or around Juna, so orbit as defenders or interceptors as they are. These guys would take out any threats. We're going to need a radar station and detection system as well because I've got a little idea to uh, make it a bit fun while we're building it too. I was going to install a couple of secret bases around the other side of Juno and yeah then we'll have a, like a little satellite and radar system and we'll scout them out and then go check them out. I need to install some missiles again though. I think they still work. But yeah I want to check the Gatling guns out so I'm just going to plonk a couple on these and I can't remember where it is I think it's in propulsion, yeah Gatlin's in propulsion nice and weird okay that should be safe to shoot I think <laughs> I guess we'll find out uh, where's it gone? Uh, it's on there, but it's invisible. Oh, it's inside. That's actually really cool. That is actually pretty cool. That looks wicked. Oh, it arcs as well. That's actually better than... Better than having it on top. I like that. Anyway, let's drive this one off. Sod it, let's go down there without tipping over oh come on these things have got high torque they should turn maybe if I put the leg the wheels away oh I was using the wrong keys to turn this way retard Alright, that'll do. Put the handbrake on. There's the other one. I bet they just broke their necks there. Oh, it. Oh, that is powerful. That's cool. Blew the crap out of it. I really like that. That is awesome. Actually, let's blow this up and see. Definitely, I'm just going to have a few of these around as well. Oh, it didn't blow up this, but it took that other one out. It's no problem, so that'd be sweet. So, yeah, there we go. We're gonna, I'm going to have some fun building some contraptions with the Gatling guns and because we've got an atmosphere over at Juno we can make some planes too so I might have to actually no yeah with the fairings mod we can stick anything on top and make it dynamic So I'll go check, see the video length, and yeah, if we've got time, I'll do something else. But yeah, that Gatling gun's cool. So I'll be right back, maybe.